Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me in my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It's one free click for you, but makes a big, big difference for my channel, and I would really appreciate it. All right, friends, we are continuing here. Part five of our Getting Ready for the Holiday Shop launch video series, and the shop is launching tomorrow, which is so wild to me. You can see me here picking up where we left off, getting started on those rainbow ornaments. And yeah, this video is just going to continue the journey. So I hope you enjoy it. Please stay tuned tomorrow. That link will be dropping in the video description, through my newsletter, on social media, and all the places. I will be shouting it out. So after 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, you will be able to shop all the wares that you see in this video. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump into it. We have a kiln to open here. Mom put the kiln on yesterday, so Zelda's joining us. Hi! You want to do the honors? Let's see. Mom was very clever and this time knotted the ornaments. Like, see how the little earrings are just hanging? That's kind of the way we'd normally do it. But for the rest of them, she knotted it and it looks like it was successful. No fallen ornaments this time. Hooray! <laughs>
table is getting quite full now. Yeah, out of the mugs that came out, it's funny, I quite like this black and white one. It's sort of like a cream color, actually. Um, very nice. Happy with that. I'm driving all the nuts. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to work. Okay, I'm back in here to continue my work. I'm almost done with one around of all colors. So, you can see... I have to do a purple, and I was trying to decide between the lilac and the dark purple. I think I'm going to do the lilac because sometimes the medium blue, this can come out very blue, and I don't want it to be like two of the same color. That would mess up everything. So we're going to play it safe, and we're going to do the lilac. Let's jump into it. And what's good is after you do sort of the initial marks, then it's like I can do multiple and spread them out. Now that I started in a corner, it's like when I did a yellow there, I could do a yellow there. So I don't know if the strategy makes sense to me. Maybe not to y'all. Good morning. Back in the studio here. Here is how far we got yesterday. So we're going to continue today, wrap up these ornaments. And then I can focus on the larger pieces, so it's going to be a long one, but we got this. Okay, we have finished ornaments. So now I'm going to concentrate on the cups and the platters and the tripod dish and see how far I can get on those. This takes a long time to do, y'all. You're really making me consider my pricing. <laughs> but they're so cute, and I do really love this pattern, and a lot of love and hard work goes into it. But anyway, yay, those are done. So mom's already started clear glazing them, putting them on the chuck as I move this over there. So, yep, got to keep glazing, keep going. Look at my beautiful ornaments. Don't they look like cookies? Meanwhile, I have two cookies that mom brought me because I got Starbucks this morning and I got myself a chocolate chip cookie to celebrate getting out of attorney review for selling my house, which is a big step. And instead, they gave me somebody else's order and it was like a toffee bundt cake and I was very disappointed. So mom went and got me a chocolate chip cookie. But anyway, the ornaments are done and they're very cute. So yeah, I'll work on the rest of these. This is how far I've gotten. So the platters are taking quite a while, but I'm like so close to like finishing this guy, so close. Um, but today is the opening party for the sketchbook project at the Arts Council and it kicks off in a half hour and I am just like an unshowered glazing studio troll. So <laughs> I'm gonna go take a quick shower and get myself ready and go hang out there for a bit and see everybody else's sketchbooks as well because it's like we would hang out and draw together at the monthly meetings but I want to see what everybody else did so I'm gonna head out there and yeah maybe I'll film a bit and throw it in here or you will see me back here in the studio. Back to 
glazing to this mug. It's getting there. The sketchbook club opening was so cute. It was mobbed. I didn't expect that many people to be there, if I'm being honest. Probably because, like, at the meetings themselves, we had, like, 15 to 20 people, you know, on a good day. But there were so many people and all the sketchbooks, and they brought them downstairs from the library into the gallery, and it was so wonderful to see everybody's books and chat about it. And, um, yeah, there's so many good ones. And I was looking at one, and I could tell it was done by a child, um, you know. I don't know how old the kid was, but then I kind of noticed there was like a seven-year-old girl like standing nearby and I'm like, I wonder if it's her book. So I'm taking my time and I'm smiling and stuff. And then I put it down back in the basket and then the dad comes over and picks it up and hands it to her and he's like, look, I found your sketchbook. And I went, that's your sketchbook? I loved it. I just looked at it and she got all shy and I was like, oh, it's so cute. But of course, like, the kids' sketchbooks are going to be amazing because kids' art is just, you know, no inhibitions, like, super creative. They just do whatever without overthinking it. So, um, so it was really, really good. I saw my friend Karen there, and she showed me her sketchbook from last year and this year. And what was interesting is she was like, I spent a lot of time on it last year. She goes, and I did not want to spend that much time on it this year. Um, I mean, both were, were wonderful. And I and I liked both for different reasons. Um, but it made me think that I was like, oh, yeah, if I do it next year, um, yeah, I might not spend as much time on it as I did this year. So tomorrow is Sauce for the Goose, which is sort of like um, like an art market in town. I've personally never done it or ever attended because it's always been at the same time as the other art fair. And um, since the other art fair happened earlier this fall and I also decided not to do it, I'm able to go this year. So I'm going to go check it out tomorrow with my friend Jeremy. going to see him catch up and hopefully see some cool art. Um, so that's also why it's a Friday night and it's like 9 o'clock and I'm blazing because... I want to try and get further on this stuff since, you know, I'll be out for some of the time tomorrow. See what I can get done tonight and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's a nice day. Let me show you what I completed last night. So she is very cute. It's like, I kind of want to keep it for myself. Do you guys ever have that when you make something you're like, I want to keep it? Um, so this one, I'm going to finish now. Like, I'm not going to do the row of glazes. I'm just going to pick the glazes I want just so I can finish that. <clears throat> now, I've been getting messages from actually several people online on Instagram saying, um, we don't want to see it finished. Like, we want it to be like this, I guess, um, or partway done. Like, they think it's nice to not have the pattern cover the whole thing. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, it's like I have it in my head that the whole thing will be covered. But, you know, like, on these larger ones, it's like I could just go, like, I could just wrap this one up and then I feel like I'd want to do a little bit more. Like... <clears throat> Like, this one's literally halfway, and that feels, like, weird to me. It's like I want it to be, like, three quarters of the way, if that makes sense. You know? Like, I don't, I don't want it to be half and half. Like, it's, like, asymmetrical would be better than symmetrical to me. But I'm like, if this one can come out, like, here, and of course I have a bit of glaze here, so I feel like I have to cover that up. Or I could sand it off, I suppose. Why is there dog hair on everything? I feel like I may as well just finish this one at this point. So, um, so we're gonna finish the tripod dish, and then I'll probably do this platter. And like the mugs are are pretty much there, I would say. Um, you know, like I 
kind of started to go a little bit all over the place to just try and get more marks in last night. So I feel like I should just finish those two. So I feel like I'm going to finish pretty much all of it. And then the two large platters, I'll leave till the end. And maybe I'll just do it part way. Because I know my mom wants to get on a kiln firing today. So I need to do that. And I am meeting my friend at noon. We were meant to meet at 11, but he pushed it back because his dog is getting groomed. And she is fluffy as all heck. So he is going to be a little bit later. Um, but anyway, yeah, if I'm like doing social stuff, I feel like I need to get on this. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I start glazing. Finishing this the art market was super cute um but yeah I have to finish this quickly because mom is putting the kiln on and I told her just give me one hour to finish this guy which I don't think I'll need the full hour but I just want to finish it I hope you guys have been enjoying the um studio tours i launched another one yesterday um it's like i'm not getting as many comments as usual and i don't know oh my gosh my phone <laughs> um i don't know if it's because you guys aren't enjoying it or you just are not into it maybe you prefer seeing studio vlogs um I don't know. Do you miss me? <laughs> That's like a weird thing to say. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I've still been able to try and capture some of what's been going on. I'm going to be doing a members video on the San Francisco trip before I got sick. Um, so that was like a cute little, it's going to be a cute little vlog. Um, but yeah, if you didn't know, I have memberships on my YouTube channel and you get early access to videos and I make a monthly video for all my members. And then there's like a tier up where if you want to ask me questions or you want any specific stuff, I will talk to you specifically and make it just for you so there's that too um but yeah just uh thought i would mention that for the cost 
cup of one coffee a month, you could subscribe. And I would really appreciate it. But if you can't, please don't. I don't want anybody to go into any financial stress because of it. And also, if you can't buy stuff from the holiday shop, I also understand, feel free to like these videos, subscribe, share it. All of that is free and appreciated. If you feel like you want to do something more um, in not a financial capacity, watch an ad or two. That helps too. But, you know, don't watch any of, like, the 90-minute ads. That's crazy. Um, but, you know, like, if there's, like, a 30-second ad, give it, a, give it a little run through. I know it's annoying, but it's always appreciated. Little dot. Did I have two little dots? Hey, we done, we done, we done. We done. Okay, one more little dot. Really? Now we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Yay! Look! Isn't she beautiful? <sighs> I'm tired. Did I really take a nap? Something about it getting darker earlier and earlier. Like, it's gonna be pitch black in an hour. It just makes me so sleepy. I was also up till midnight working on this stuff, so what do I expect? <sighs> this. So, like, I was doing blues and greens, and now I'm like, oh, it's gonna look like a line, and I want it to be mixed up how this is mixed up, so now I am just starting to do red in different spots. We finished it! Da, 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 da. Okay, now we can do a kiln firing. <laughs> Good evening. On my way to open the kiln. Let's do this. All right, here we go. I was like, they're all blank! <laughs> but that's just the back side. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just oh, had a mini stuck. panic. Look at that. Oh, the, the gingerbread man's holding the candy cane. <laughs> there we go. Parted company. Everything looks super cute. I need to see. Was it on here? Oh, no. It was on the tripod dish that I messed up one bit of glazing, and I'm interested to see how that part came out. These are really cute, hooray. Oh yay, all the ornaments are cute too. None of them ran. So cute, so cute. Here we go. Let's see. All right, there's the infamous mark I was talking about. But yeah. You can't really tell, like you have to look really close and you can see there's a little bit of green underneath it, but like really overall, she is fine. She is cute. So happy with it. Oh, adorable. trying to be quiet because grandma is sleeping um but we're gonna go see how the kiln's doing because the vent keeps falling out of the window which has been really fun um and it's, uh, it's starting to fall out i have an ongoing problem with this vent that we need to get fixed the final Countdown. The final kiln opening. Looks like 
Nothing fell off. Ah! Earrings! Yay! Cute. That's the pair. So I have to assemble these. Looks good. Let's see how the platter looks. friends, the postcards have arrived, and I think they look super cute. So this is the first set that's going to be online, and I was really worried about the color because I was working on a screen that wasn't color calibrated, but they look really nice just how I would like it. So that's set number one. That's what people voted online for on my Instagram. You can also see there's a little thing on the back. Artwork by Fiona Clark and then my at Fiona C to NYC Instagram handle. So very happy about that. Also these were printed by Moo so if you're not familiar with them check them out. They do good quality print stuff. And then I have a set that I additionally printed because they were some of my own favorites and people didn't vote for them. So I don't know if anybody will buy them, but I mean, so you can see here. Um, this is the stack people voted on versus the stack that I got. So I got significantly less of the ones that I liked just because obviously I want to be selling the ones that people want. Um, so here's the second set. I felt like these two are kind of nice and Christmassy looking if people are into that. I like this colorful one too. Black and white. The green. And this one. So... I'm going to have sets of both in the online shop, but if you come in person, you'll be able to shop them individually and make your own set. But yeah, let me show you them all together. Here's everything. Top row is what Instagram folks voted for. Bottom row are some of my favorites. So let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. Okay. I might need to get more of these, but basically I'm going to attach and then sanitize and package. So I don't think I'm going to put them in the plastic sleeves because I think when you're in store, you kind of want to try them. I don't know. I don't want to say try them on, but you kind of want to see them so you can see both sides, hold it up. So anyway, now I do open this up a little and then slide this on and then close her back up. I haven't done this in a while and I take my medication today so my hands are a little shaky. There you go.